Hey, how's it going? Alex here from IdeaSpot, and today we've got a detailed comparison between the LearnDash and the LearnPress plugins. Now, I have been using both of these quite a lot lately, and there are some significant differences between them, so I really wanted to share my experience and help you make the best decision. We're going to be comparing these on speed, on design quality, on the enrollment experience and the checkout experience that users will have on your website. We're also going to be looking at the pricing. I do have discounts for both of these in the description below, so check those out. But if you've been struggling to pick between these two plugins, you're gonna to wanna to watch this one right to the end. For LearnPress, we are using the education theme by ThimPress, and this is the Eduma demo. This is one of the 21 demo sites you get bundled with this package. So it looks really good. You've got your course grid, you've got a lovely um, parallax effect. You've got that slider uh, image right on the front there. So it all looks really cool. For LearnDash, we are using Astra. We're using the LearnDash Academy template. Now this is the official collab between Astra and LearnDash. And they've come up with a really clean, fast loading and well-designed looking website. So it is very professional looking. Uh, it's been designed for uh, conversions. So it does a really good job of just turning leads into sales. So looks really nice. This was built using Elementor. It can also be built using Gutenberg or Beaver Builder. I should also note that um, Eduma can be built with Elementor as well, but it can also be built with Fusion Builder and Site Origin. So that's worth noting as well. First thing I want to address is the speed. So with this LearnDash setup with Astra, very lightweight, got a pretty good load speed of 2.1 seconds, 91 requests and 2.6 meg of content. So pretty good result from LearnDash. LearnPress was definitely the heavier plugin here. So the education theme loaded in 3.1 seconds, 5.5 meg of resources and 154 requests. So much heavier, noticeably a little bit slower, but still not unacceptably slow. Three seconds is still okay, but noticeably better performance from LearnDash. Looking at the reason for this performance difference, looking at the LearnDash dashboard, we only actually have eight plugins installed to get this website working. So much lower than LearnPress, which LearnPress, I had to install 26 plugins. When I installed the plugin and I installed the demo content, all of this stuff automatically is installed. So a much heavier setup for sure. So I think this is definitely worth noting if you're one of those people who really likes a nice clean WordPress setup, having only to maintain eight plugins, it's gonna be much less work, much less technical support, much less customer support, I think, Going forward in the website's life, you're gonna end up spending much less time maintaining LearnDash than you are with LearnPress. A lot of these things aren't even designed by ThemePress. These are other free plugins that they've bundled in with it. So lots of risk in terms of things being updated, not staying compatible compared with LearnDash. I think LearnDash is definitely the higher quality um, product here. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the enrollment and the checkout process with these plugins. So with LearnDash, it's all quite simple. You can look at the course grid there. Let's look at the content marketing course, for example, and you can have a look at the course description and click take the course. Now this is a one click checkout process. The user just needs to fill in their details, fill in the payment information. You can choose a password here, or you can set WooCommerce to generate a password automatically and email that to them. But as soon as they hit place order, it will generate the account. It'll take them to the thank you page and they'll get an email with a link where they can log on to their course. It's all very simple and intuitive and I expect this will convert leads into sales very effectively. With LearnPress, it's okay, but it's a little bit more convoluted. If we go to one of the courses that we're interested in, we can click it, load it up. It takes a second to load because it's a little bit slower and then we buy the course. We actually have to register before we can buy. And in order to register, we actually have to find that registration link there, click that link and fill in our username, email and password. So I've just gone ahead and filled that out, click sign up, it'll take us through. That will bring us to our checkout page where we have to go ahead and place our order through PayPal. We can click that, it'll take us to the PayPal payment information. This is where we'd log in with PayPal, click next and log into PayPal. Now we click pay now and let's return to the merchant 
And there we go, the order's gone through. Now this was a much more convoluted process than what we got with Astra and LearnDash, but LearnPress also does have a WooCommerce add-on. So that's included when you buy those uh, education themes through ThinPress. So let's go ahead and have a look how the WooCommerce plugin works. So the WooCommerce experience is definitely a little better. If we go to our course, let's go ahead and have a look at it. And then when that loads up, we can click buy the course. And this will automatically take us through to the cart where we've got our cart where we can add a coupon and we can proceed to the checkout. And from here, it's just a matter of filling out the details and payment information and clicking pay. Uh, you can use Stripe, PayPal, Square. I've only set up PayPal, but you could use whatever you want because it's WooCommerce. Now, I would note that they haven't really done any work on them in terms of optimizing the cart and the checkout flow and the design of the cart and checkout. This is just um, basic standard WooCommerce setup. So they haven't really done um, anything to make this convert better like what they've done with Astra on the learn dash page where they've obviously put a fair bit more effort into making the design a bit more clean, a bit more user friendly and a bit more streamlined in terms of getting those leads turned into actual sales by making this really quick and simple to do. In terms of visual design, I think uh, LearnPress is really good in this aspect though. Uh, there's actually 21 designs that you get when you get this education theme package. So everything from crypto training to kindergarten websites, even if you weren't running a course, if you were just designing a education based website, this could be a quite clean and good looking solution. With uh, LearnDash, there's only just the uh, one LearnDash Academy demo site though it does look really clean and professional. So there's gonna be no trouble using it. It's quite easy to find free Elementor content through Astra or through Elementor itself. So it's not a big issue. I think this does look very professional and clean. So it is gonna serve a good uh, purpose in terms of delivering and selling these online courses. So I definitely think this is probably the better theme, even though it doesn't have that visual variety that you get with uh, LearnPress. In terms of what the actual courses and the course creation process looks like on uh, LearnPress and LearnDash, they're actually quite similar. It's much like writing a blog post and then the quizzes and assignments are like filling in a form in WordPress dashboards. So they're quite similar. I thought both of them were fine. I've done videos uh, before on those. I'll put those in the description so you can check those out, but I'm not going to go into that detail here. But I can say both of them were totally fine. Both of them totally acceptable. I did think that um, Learn Dash gives you some more advanced features that you might not get with LearnPress that would actually be applied when you're doing things like actual university uh, course content. So we saw things like Florida, Michigan, using those on actual course content, but uh, you don't see those sort of high level application with LearnPress so much. Finally, pricing. Now, pricing does change from time to time. So check my description where I've got links where you can uh, get the best discount going currently. So check that link out for sure for either LearnPress and LearnDash. I have good discounts for both of those. But uh, at the moment, uh, one-off fee with LearnPress, only $69 and you get uh, that education theme and you get the WooCommerce add-on as well. With uh, Learn Dash is obviously more expensive, but you do get um, a multiple licenses to use on many different sites. So if you're a freelancer or you're an agency and you're doing course websites quite often, I know it's a very quickly growing industry. So this is actually much better value when you consider that you're getting 10 licenses. So that is really cool, but it is an annual fee. So compared to having a one-off fee, uh, this is going to add up a lot more, but as we saw, I think in terms of having a much cleaner, well-designed system with only the eight plugins compared to the 27, I think it was, this is a much better design and the actual sign-up process is so much smoother. You're going to just make more sales with this one. I think the price difference is going to be irrelevant when you consider how much better this one is probably going to convert. So definitely keep that in mind. Sometimes the cheapest way ends up being the one that costs you more in the, in the long term. Okay, so in conclusion, I think the main advantages with LearnPress are it's cheaper and you get that lifetime purchase. So you get lifetime updates and it is a good looking theme and you get lots of demo content. So even if you weren't delivering courses, if you just wanted to build a school website, uh, this would be a good choice. But I definitely don't think the actual course plugin is as well designed as LearnDash. This is definitely way more heavy. Had I think 27 plugins all stuck together and you got to hope all that keeps working. So uh, 
definitely not as good a design in terms of just overall uh, software design. But there is a free version, so you can check it out and see if it works for you. And if it does, hey, you've saved um, a bit of money. Now, when it comes to LearnDash, I think it has more features and it has more advanced features. And that's why it's used by some much larger organizations in terms of actually delivering critical content to students. So this is the more uh, robust system, I think. And partnering with Astra, you end up with a much faster and lightweight system. We saw that with the load times and the amount of actual requests that it was generating. So it's going to be easier on your server and it's just overall better design, better coding. I Definitely would recommend this one if you're delivering uh, business critical education compared to LearnPress. I think LearnPress is more for um, bloggers or influencers where you're using courses as a value add, um, but this is for more serious education websites, as I've said before. Even though the price is a little higher, I definitely think that with that better design checkout flow, it's just going to convert better anyway. So your return on investment is going to more than make up for the price difference in most cases. In conclusion, the more I use these, the more I tend to favor LearnDash over LearnPress. I think if I had to do a serious project, I'm probably going to choose LearnDash basically every time, especially if it's business critical and I really need to ensure that it's got a high quality result. So um, LearnPress still has its place, especially because it has a free version. If you're just learning how to make an online course, this could be a good way to start, get your feet wet. But for, uh, I think if you've got a serious agency or you're a freelancer and you really need a reliable solution, I'd be going for LearnDash. The fact that we had LearnDash running on eight plugins compared to LearnPress's 27, I think, is just going to be huge from a maintenance perspective. And LearnDash's optimized checkout flow, I really think the return on investment is going to be really high compared to LearnPress. So that's why I'd recommend it. I do have links to both of these in the description because they do have specials from time to time and I'll make sure I put those discount links in there for you. So check those out. Now I do have complete tutorials on how to build courses with either of these plugins. So I've put links to them there. But don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe too because I think one of my next videos I'm going to come up with is going to be a complete LearnDash Academy site build like what we saw in this video. I'm going to do a complete build on that website. So stay tuned for that.